JK is a star. You know, a lot of people are talking about me coming back in the lineup, and that's why we're winning. I think we're winning because of the growth of Jonathan Kaminga. Works from the foul line. Mooney blocked the shot. Kaminga in a run out. Kaminga in a foot race. Kaminga to the line to put it in. After stuffing the Washington Wizards, the Warriors set their sights on Gotham City. Hey, what's happening, everyone? This is Swish Culture. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Swish Culture for the most analytical and entertaining NBA content on the planet. Now get ready. You're about to get News just broke that the Warriors will have to play without Andrew Wiggins. He will miss not one, not two, but an indefinite number of games. And his return doesn't seem to be guaranteed. Around the same time last season, Wiggins went on hiatus following the All-Star break. He had just turned the corner and was playing at the same level we had seen during the Warriors championship run in 2022. The Warriors had no choice but to let him take the time, and he returned just before the end of the regular season to rejoin the Warriors in time for the playoffs. Unfortunately, that didn't result in much of anything for Golden State, as they fell one round short of the Western Conference Finals. Fast forward to this season and the storyline is practically identical. Post All-Star break and Wiggins is nowhere to be found on the basketball court for the Warriors. There are an innumerable amount of rumors on social media regarding the purported personal reasons for this hiatus, but without concrete information, there isn't much that can be said that wouldn't be in the dangerous territory of spreading rumors. That being said, I'm hoping whatever the problem Wiggins has can be resolved as he was key to the Warriors championship in 2022. With Wiggins out of the lineup, the Warriors' depth begins to show. Moses Moody stepped into the lineup in his stead and is proving his worth on the floor. With his 7'1 wingspan at 6'6, he's the absolute perfect lockdown defender that the Warriors need to run the wing with Jonathan Kaminga. Kerr struggled all season long to find minutes for Moody, but it's beyond puzzling how you could have a player who does this. Moody doing it on the defensive end. Great block on. And this. I mean, Washington shooting 52%. Out of the rotation. While Moses Moody is averaging just 8 points and 3 rebounds per game on 35% from distance, he's still shooting 47% from the field and is about as locked down as you can get guarding 1 through 3, and in the case of the Knicks, even 5s. While the final score in the Wizards matchup doesn't really stand out, the fact that the Warriors were missing a key piece out of the rotation and injected a player that was out of the rotation into the starting lineup and still win shows that there's more to this team than what I consider a phony loss against the Denver Nuggets. That loss was simply Steph Curry having a bad game. If you think any more of it than that, then you simply haven't watched this team play enough or even enough basketball in general. Unless the Wizards somehow began playing the same defense as a contender, we saw that same rough stretch for Steph Curry repeat in the follow-up Wizards game where Curry went 6 of 21 to follow up the 6 of 19 he went against Denver. What the Warriors did differently against Washington, however, was to inject Moody into the Warriors' starting lineup. Next, Jonathan Kuminga, who had mainly been working on his facilitating and everything else but his offense, realized that it was up to him to help carry the offensive load. With Wiggins and Curry's offense missing, Kuminga dropped an efficient 21 points on 13 shots and combined with an efficient 25 points off the bench for Klay Thompson, the Warriors were able to send the Wizards packing in their home city. This game concluded as the Warriors' best road win streak since the 2019 season with six in a row. The Warriors then followed up with Gotham City. The Knicks win tonight. Guarantee! Ready here first. Well, that is usually a kiss of death, for sure. The starting unit locked up the Knicks starters on defense and did not allow them to score a single point in the first five minutes of the first quarter. As a matter of fact, 
I couldn't help but laugh. Okay, no, I didn't. I was a little mad that Steve Kerr, having seen this lockdown defense by the starting unit, subbed Clay and GP2 in a little early, which opened the doors for the Knicks to get their first points. This was, undeniably, the best start the Warriors have had to a game to start this season, going up 14-0 before Kerr intervened. But wait a second, didn't the Knicks recently sign a star player? Jalen Brunson, who the Mavericks let walk in free agency because they wanted to see what was out there, was able to strike a deal with the Knicks that saw him get paid double what he would have taken with the Mavs if they'd given him what he was asking. Mavs, however, wanted to keep their options open and send Brunson packing. This was a decision they might have regretted if they hadn't signed Kyrie Irving, but considering the production Brunson is giving the Knicks, that contract was well worth the investment. Brunson this season has been averaging 28 points and 7 assists on 48% from the field. With Moses Moody guarding the Gotham Prince, Brunson managed to put up 27 points on 25 shot attempts, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists. Now he wasn't guarded the entire night by Moody, but when he ran into Kaminga, he immediately knew what it was like to jump out of the frying pan and into the fire. A drive-by Jalen Brunson gets sent well out of play in embarrassing fashion. It's no wonder teams struggle against the Warriors wing duo of Kaminga and Moody, who play very well off each other. I personally see these two as the future of the franchise in similar fashion to Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. However, there is still some more growth left which has to be decided upon by Steve Kerr. While Moody locked down Brunson and kept him below average, Jonathan continued to show teams why he was selected with a lottery pick. At this point, Kaminga has become one of the most unguardable players in the league. Teams now have to throw double teams at him if they want any hope of slowing him down. His mid-range game has been developing and his overall game IQ seems to have exploded. While Draymond's impact has instilled confidence in his game, the 21-year-old, who is the same age as Pods, is making plays and reads that almost no one could have predicted. He's been adding a lot of nuances to his game and he's developed into a more complete two-way player as a result. While the lack of playing time might have hurt his development in some ways, as it may have done Moody, it sparked a fire in Kaminga that the team would be foolish to not take advantage of. And while all this growth was taking place, Steph Curry seemed to have found his rhythm again as he dropped in 8 triples in Madison Square Garden, having a double-double well before the end of the second quarter. His final tally of 31 points and 11 rebounds, going 11 of 26 from the field, shows that he's getting back into form. The Warriors need to win the next game against the Raptors, however, as their last game against the Bucks will be the toughest of this road trip. Anyway, if the Warriors don't have Otto Porter Jr. or another player in that 15th spot by the time this video drops, there might be some problems come playoffs. Post your thoughts in the comments below, but before that, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on all your notifications so you don't miss any of my latest uploads. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Swish. talk about connectivity I want to talk about Jonathan Kaminga his maturity shot selection and one play in particular in the first half I, that sticks out in my mind Steph was relocating you directed Jonathan to go set a screen seems like he's starting to really pick up both offensive and defensive playing at a better pace seems more comfortable out there he is. Uh, J.K. is a star. Um, he'll be all-star in this league for a long time. He's playing confident. He's playing with force on both ends of the floor, and that's he's, that's what he's going to be great at. You know, he's not going to be a guy who can just give it to you on the offensive end. He's going to be able to hold his own on the defensive end and shut guys down even more so than just holding his own. So it's been great to see his growth. You know, a lot of people are talking about me coming back in the lineup, and that's why we're winning. I think we're winning because of the growth of Jonathan Kaminga.